Hi everyone, if you have iPad 4 or iPhone 5 and you have always dreamed to go back to iOS 6, it's time to do it. In this video I will show how to install iOS 6 as a second OS on my iPad 4, just breaking it a couple of times. And then I will show what my super fast iPad 4 and beautiful white iPhone 5 are capable of on the legendary iOS 6, the greatest iOS of all time. So let's start, but be careful, everything you do you are doing at your own risk, please be mindful. If you have troubles you can always flash iOS firmware in DFU mode. I'm also sorry sometimes my device's interface won't be in English, but I hope everything is clear anyway. To use this method in 2023 you need to have iOS 10.3.4, which is the latest version for these devices, to go back to iOS 8. First thing first, make sure that you don't have any important to you data on your iPad or iPhone and then do a factory reset. We need a clean device with no user data, Apple ID or iCloud account. Now we need jailbreak for the latest iOS 10 that works in 2023. First go to this page. Links are in the description. Here you can find detailed instructions on how to jailbreak iOS 10.3.4. In short, you'll need to connect your device to computers and install a program called Sideloadly on your Mac or Windows, and then open a link from the website in this program. Here you need to use Apple ID. If you worry about your privacy, you may create a new one or type an Apple ID account that you don't use. Then click Start, and after process is finished, you should have jailbreak app on your device. To open the app, you need to go to Settings, Profiles first and then tap Trust for the certificate. Then you can open Jailbreak app and with a single tap the process is starting. So here it is, Cydia. We can unplug device from computer now. What's next? Go to Cydia and tap Update. This is optional, but I'd rather have the latest Cydia available. Tap Full Update. Note, sometimes it won't work on the first try and you can restart Cydia, just don't restart your device. I understand jailbreak is that hurt, so right now a device can be restarted. We will need a simple and free file manager, so let's install Filsa. Open it and go to System, Library, Core Services, System version placed. From here you need to change iOS version number and build number, change version to 6.1.3 and build to 10B329. Tap save in the top right corner, then done in the left and now you must restart your device. The system notices some changes and then adjusts everything. Here we go the faked iOS version. Now we can kinda request an update to iOS 8. iOS 8 was like a stop release in the way that devices that still use iOS 6 should have been updated to iOS 8 first and only then to the latest version. This is why Apple keeps iOS 8.4.1 on their servers and we can use it for our own benefit. So now we successfully cheated Apple update system and can install older iOS. Plug in your iPad just in case so that it has enough battery for the process.
Connect to your Wi-Fi and go through activation process. Then straight away we need to do factory reset of our device. This is because we had jailbreak and changed some system files before, so we need to fix system in this way. Now we can go through activation process again, just skip everything you can, like location, Apple ID, setting, password, etc. On this stage we have a clean install of iOS 8.4.1. Great, it's time to jailbreak iOS 8. To our delight, 8.4.1 uh, version has untethered jailbreak, so you'll be able to reboot your device and overall it's better than tethered. This process is similar to jailbreak we did before. Go to this website, connect your device, use said load lead and open jailbreak app on your device. Click here. Wait for restart. And CD is there. We can unplug the device from computer now. Once again, go to CD and tap update. If it doesn't want to update, close it and open again or just reboot. Fortunately, we can do it now and jailbreak will not disappear. Ok, now we need to add new repository, type address coolbooter.com Ok, it's stuck but it seems ready enough to me. Go here and install coolbooter tweak. This program will allow us to install iOS 6 while preserving our current system. As far as true downgrade to iOS 6 is not possible yet, uh, dual boot is the only way for us to go. Please note that we install the latest 1.6 version as it's the most stable one. With it, however, uh, mail, podcasts and iBooks won't work, so you may find and use older Coolbooter versions in some repositories. But keep in mind that older versions may cause far bigger problems. Plug in your iPad to have enough battery, close Syria and go to Coolbooter app. Tap install, then select desired version iOS 6.1.3 is recommended for iPad and iOS 6.1.4 for iPhone 5. Tap storage and choose how much storage you'll give to the second system. Of course, it's recommended to have 64 gigabyte device and I'm lucky enough to have a 64 version of iPad 4. Finally, tap I'm ready and skip custom boot logo and verbose mode if you don't want them. If you are using an older cool booter app, it may also ask whether you want to jailbreak second OS. Always choose yes, as it will eliminate many problems. Make sure to have stable internet connection or the downloading process will be terminated. When it says storage almost full, tap done. Tap reboot. Open cool booter again, tap boot and lock your device when it asks to. Then wait, wait, and don't do anything. You may need to do this one more time.
We did it. Now type in your Wi-Fi password, wait for activation and skip everything. And we are not done yet. If we turn off iPad now, it will load iOS 8 and you will need to open Coolbooter and then tap boot for iOS 6 and then wait. If you want to always load the Divine iOS 6, we need to install one more thing. Go to Cydia and install Coolbooter on Tether. Now we can turn off our device and it will always load iOS 6. Please note that booting will not be super fast. If you ever need to load the god-awful iOS 8, you will need to turn off your device first, then while device is turned off, press and hold the volume down button, then press and release power button while still holding the volume button. Keep the volume down button pressed until iOS 8 will be loaded. Let's start with signing in Apple ID and a cloud. Even though we used Coolbooter, all of it should work, including even iCloud backups. If you have two-factor authentication, you should add security code to your regular password. Here's where you can prompt security code. Now we should install SSL certificate, link in the description, so that more websites work, and also in order to add HTTPS repositories in Cydia. It is recommended to reboot now. Before you go to App Store and download previous versions of your own tabs, make sure to install Checkmate Store Twig. New repository added. This tweak will prevent apps from making additional demands when you want to install older versions of apps. In other words, with this tweak, App Store will not hamper with installation of older versions of apps if they exist for iOS 6. Now, let's try to download something, for example, old version of Apple Pages app. You see, on iPad it gives an error when you search yourself, but if you choose a search suggestion, it suddenly works. No idea why, as on my iOS 6 iPhone, I can search whatever I want. What a beautiful app it was! Fun fact, on jailbroken iOS 6 iPads the weather app is not hidden like it should be, but of course it's a small iPhone version. Let's fix weather. First, add another repository. Then install weatherx tweak.
and it updates weather again. Next, although YouTube works pretty well in Safari, we may even install old Apple YouTube app from iOS 5. First, add this repository, then install two tweaks that I'm showing. Now prepare your YouTube API key, I'll leave link in the description on where to find it. Paste it in TubeFixer settings. And it kind of works. You should restart the app a couple of times, plus turn off and on Wi-Fi. Still doesn't work. Never mind, this is not so important anyway. Let's install File Manager to control our game saves. For iOS 6, iFile is the best option, but we need a paid option for some useful features. Unfortunately, CDA payments are no more, so we can only pirate install this tweak. Sorry, iFile. Next, we can install AUXO for iPad. It's nice to have this in prior iOS 7 control center era. You can quickly control Wi-Fi, GPS, still impossible for iOS 16, lock rotation or turn on flashlight if you're on iPhone. It's also the easiest way to resprint or reboot with just one button. Now, we want some gaming, right? If you want to sideload some apps and games, make sure to install AppSync Unified and Apple File Conduit. Then reboot. The easiest way to sideload apps is to connect to your computer and use a program for it. You may also use APA installer to install IPA files on device, but I'll show you the easiest way with this free tool. Uh, just drag and drop your IPA files and you're good to go. Collections of IPA could be found on uh, web.archive.org, a link in the description and on other websites. Pretty cool game, huh? Alternatively, you can install apps from third-party app stores like Vitzeris. Some apps and games may not be available here, but you can choose a version that you want to install and that's really convenient. One more useful tweak is app info, in that you can disable app store updates for your sideloaded apps, so you won't see a notification page on app store icon. Time for saves files. You can find them on the internet, but in my case I just want to see game progress between my iOS 6 devices. Let's see how to do it on an example of Krabatron. The save files are in document folder, so let's delete old ones and copy new folder content using Bluetooth. Of course, Bluetooth is a rare option, maybe more convenient for you will be to use a web server, for that you just need to tap this Wi-Fi icon and open the given address in a browser on your PC.
This is what we need right now. I'm afraid we will never see such a design again, as it clearly needs a lot of effort. And today's Apple developers are certainly not people that put some effort into anything. This design is awesome and on iPad it even more magnificent and rich than on iPhone. Which apps are working in 2023? Documents is a great note for jailbreak file manager and PDF reader. Chrome browser can sometimes be more capable than Safari. For example, it still loads Wikipedia and Safari doesn't. The only Maps app that work for me is Waze. Box is the only cloud services that I found possible to sign in on iOS 6. And as a calculator you can use these great MyScript apps. But now, let's turn to gaming. Let's go to all-time bestsellers.
some games are better on iPhone or only for iPhone, so let's check a few. And finally, some of the iOS 6 iPhone exclusives. I think these iPad and iPhone are such great devices that fell victim to the big tart, which modern iOS versions are. However, we can finally bring them back to life. 
be sure to share this video and subscribe to my channel if you found this how-to and review video useful. And of course, hurry up to install iOS 6 before something stops working. Save your iPad and subscribe. Thank you.